Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Square with Salesforce. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at squareup.com or log in to existing account. Now we want to head to the left sidebar of our screen and click on apps. As you can see, I already integrated Zapier to make this integration work, but we'll get to that later. We can look for apps straight through Square App. So we just visit App Marketplace and we can look for Salesforce. As you can see, uh, there is no option of uh, integrating uh, Salesforce straight through Square. So we are going to use different approach. We are going to use automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And we want to go and head in the top corner of our screen and click on integrations. Once we're here, we want to go uh, to the bottom left part and see all categories. Now we have to search from 200 and more apps, but we are only interested in square at the moment. So hit, hit square. And now we have to pick its counterpart, which will be Salesforce, like this. As you can see already, some integrations are ready for us. But if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for, keep scrolling down and uh, to create your own integration. Just remember on the left side, uh, on the left side of uh, underneath the triggers, keep scrolling down and you want to start with square actually. On the other hand, on the opposite side, underneath the actions, you want to go and pick uh, Salesforce. So you have a lot of options to pick from, but I'm sticking to first one. Now we have to just click on try it now button and uh, we'll get asked to, yeah, sorry. And we get asked to log into our automate.io account and we are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. As I said before, we can also use zapier.com, which is probably a very similar app to automate. Uh, we just have to create account here and go to the top left corner and create a Zap. So we also need to set up trigger first. The trigger will start with square. So let's choose square. Trigger event is one of those two, but let's stick to the first one. Continue. Now square account uh, we have to log into like this. Continue. Now we have to set up a trigger. So let's go with our workspace, which is called mstone. Continue. And now we can test our trigger. But let's hop into the second action. The second action, as you probably thought, it's Salesforce action event, create record, for example, as the first one. Continue. And last thing is we have to just uh, connect to Salesforce. So there are two options. Just remember, I will leave the link in the description to automate underneath this video. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.